Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.1. We have a lot of features to cover with this update. It is an amazing update also when it comes to performance and battery, but of course the features are just great. Now this update is mainly focused on the new set of Apple intelligence features, which will be of course the first set of AI features to come to the iPhone with many more coming in the upcoming updates. So in today's video, I will show you guys 20 features that I believe every iPhone user updating to 18.1 must know. And we're starting with the camera app. We have an amazing and very much needed feature here. When you go to the video mode and you start recording a video, you will now have a pause button. This allows you to pause the recording of the video and of course you can resume anytime you want and you can actually do this as many times as you want for a video. Now, of course, once you're here, you have pause, you can go back to recording and when you, when you want to finish the video, you can just tap here or if you're even paused and then you decide you don't want to continue anymore, you can just tap there and you're good to go. Now something that I really like that Apple has done on iOS 18.1 is the ability to reset the control center. So you know with the control center on iOS 18, you can actually customize it, resize things, move things around, make your own custom layout of the control center. But at any time you decide you just want to go back to the default layout, you can simply go to your settings app, go under control center, and you will have a right here a button that will reset the default layout of your control center. Talking about the control center, the main feature here with 18.1 are the new toggles for connectivity, which you can add them one by one so you don't have to use the connectivity widget, which is actually really awesome. So right here you will see we have the old one, but then we also have the toggles here for basically everything that you can find in here. So anything can be added individually and you can now have a much better layout and of course have easier and faster access to your settings. Moving on to Safari, we have some amazing features here with 18.1. First of all, hiding the tracking items that has been made very easy with iOS 18.1. You tap right there tap on hide distracting items, you tap on the item, it will outline it and give you a button right there to actually hide it. It is as easy as that. Once you're done with that, you tap the done button and you can see right now, even if I refresh the web page, it won't actually show that item. We can still show it if we just tap right there and show the hidden items if you want to bring it back to the website. With iOS 18.1 and the new AI features, when on Safari and when you have a website on the reader mode, so this will work only for the reader mode. If the website offers that, then you will be able to also summarize that website. Now, once you go to the reader mode, you will see at the top right there, you will have this summarize button and it will show you a summary of that article. Of course, this using the new Apple intelligence capabilities. And the search on the App Store has been improved a lot. This will be for any device. You don't have to now search for a certain name of the app. You can basically now just describe the app and it will be able to find it for you. With iOS 18.1, you're able to send stickers as emojis. So basically you can type the stickers in line here. When you're typing some text, you can type them there and just send them just like you would send stickers. Now, one thing that I really love about the new Apple intelligence features are what they have done with the mail app. The summaries of the mail app and the priority mail is amazing. So priority mail has to be enabled. You tap the three dots right there on your inbox. Now this will look a bit different just because I'm on iOS 18.2 currently, but you basically when you tap there and you have 18.1, you will see just this right here, this section where it says show priority, you tap right there to enable priority and then all your priority ma mail will be moved to the top. Like things like if you have, let's say a meeting or something that's urgent, it will be moved at the top of your inbox. Another great feature of the mail app on iOS 18.1 is this right here, the summarizing of the email. So on the preview that you see on the list of your inbox, you will see here basically a summary of that email. So you're basically knowing what you have there without even having to open the email. 
Now with iOS 18.1, you also get cleanup on the Photos app. So when you go to Photo, you go to Edit, you can go to Cleanup and you can basically just highlight things and you can just move them out of the photo. So if I have here like this tree in this case, I can just, just go ahead and highlight it like this and you don't even have to do like a great work at that it will basically automatically detect it and you can see those birds right there i can just basically just like scrub around there and it will detect them automatically so it's actually really good and it works quite well now this feature also allows to hide faces on photos so all you have to do is just like do a circle right there to the face and as you can see it will pixelate that face and will be hidden from the picture now another great thing that apple has done with the photos app and ai on ios 18.1 is that now you can search for moments within video so you can maybe just like have something that you have done you know it's on a video and it will find it on that exact moment on that video now one great thing here about Siri on iOS 18.1 is the ability to talk to Siri and also type to Siri at the same time so you don't have to use the one or the other. So of course to talk you can say one of the words to invoke Siri or use a side button or at any time anywhere on your iPhone you can just double tap on the home bar and it will bring up Siri and you can type to Siri right here which is amazing. Now you can enable that by going here under Apple Intelligence and Siri and then go to talk and type, enable it here and you're good to go. Siri now can also answer questions for Apple products. Like I can ask something here. How can I use back tap on an iPhone? And as you can see right here, it will give you everything that you need to know on how to do different things on your device. And with notes on iOS 18, you know that you can now attach voice recordings. So I can go ahead and tap on record audio and it basically will allow me to record an audio and it will be saved right here on the notes app. Of course, it will be saved as an audio file and I can even go ahead and export it from there. But what's really cool with iOS 18.1 is that this here will basically have a transcription. So it has everything that we have recorded on the transcription, but now we also have a preview here, basically a summary for that transcription, which is really awesome. So we can go there and see the whole transcription or we can just go to the summary as easy as that. On iOS 18.1, you can of course record any phone call you want. You will have that button right there, which allows you to tap on it and initiate a call recording. Now, once you have recorded the call, it will be saved on the Notes app. And when you go to the Notes app, you will have here a section dedicated for your call recordings. All the call recordings will be here on this folder, which will be created automatically. And you will even have the transcriptions for those call recordings. On the Notes app, when you bring up the keyboard, you will have a button here dedicated for the writing tools. Of course, one of the things that has to come with iOS 18.1 and the new Apple Intelligence set of features. So when tapping here, it takes you directly to the writing tools where you can do things like rewrite, proofread and things like that so you will have all the tools right here and i would actually like if, it, if apple would actually add this button anywhere maybe add it to the keyboard somewhere but right here on ios 18.1 you can just find it on the notes app and the notifications on ios 18.1 and this will work on all devices not just apple intelligence will show you here a badge which indicates the number of notifications that you have on a group of notifications. And last but not least, if you use the new mirroring feature on iOS 18.1 and your Mac, where you can mirror your iPhone to your Mac, you will now be able to drag and drop files from your iPhone to your Mac and vice versa. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 20 new features and changes on iOS 18.1 that you must know. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.